I just hit my fucking hand. Ah, that hurt. Hey guys. <laughs> if you're wondering what I hit my hand on, I hit it on the the sides of the chair. Because I sit backwards on my chair, if you guys don't know. Um, hey guys, welcome back to the ch channel. That was weird. So, oh my god, that just threw me off my entire train of thought. Fuck. So, this video is going to be about the current cards for the Greatest Royal Rumble event, as well as Backlash 2018, what matches are currently announced, who's going to be in said matches, but before we get on to that, TakeOver New Orleans and WrestleMania were this past weekend, um, actually, TakeOver New Orleans was six days ago, and two matches got five stars from TakeOver New Orleans, two, for, re for perspective on this, guys, the first match... Since 2011 to get five stars was at TakeOver War Games, and that was Gargano vs. Almas. The, the match before that, which I believe may have been the first ever WWE match to get five stars, I could be wrong, was CM Punk vs. John Cena, Money in the Bank 2011. That was the, that was, that was the last five-star match WWE had before 2018. And now because of NXT, they've had three in one year. So, uh, they had Gargano Almas at TakeOver War Games, which was well deserving of it. That match was fantastic. Er, wait, not War Games, sorry. TakeOver Philly. TakeOver Philly, uh, which was well deserving of it. That match was fantastic. I loved it. And now, two more matches because of Take. Gover New Orleans had been given five stars by Dave Meltzer. They were the match between the unsanctioned match between Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, which Yeah. Yeah, that deserved it. That match was fantastic. Um the storytelling was there, the the match quality, everything was perfect in that match. And then the NXT North American Championship ladder match um also got five stars, which is interesting because it was an it's an interesting one. I I'm not saying it doesn't deserve it. That match was awesome from start to finish. It's really cool to see people like Velveteen Dream and Laura Sullivan who are relatively new getting the five stars. Um, I thought it was really cool. I I think they really deserved five stars for that match. They all put on a hell of a show. Um, and yeah, so it's really cool that um in the span of a year, uh, actually was a span of four months. WWE has now gotten three five-star matches uh, for you know, their first five stars since 2011, which is really cool. Um, I really like that fact. It's awesome that they got the five stars. The real question is, will we be getting another five-star match on the main roster anytime soon? I'm thinking yes. I am thinking that because this is what it seems like they're saying at Backlash for is Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles for Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE Championship, which I think is a match that could definitely get five stars if they if they play it out correctly. Um, so yeah. All right, let's get on to the Greatest Royal Rumble and Backlash current cards. Currently for the Greatest Royal Rumble event, we have the 50-man Royal Rumble, the Universal Championship match, uh, sorry, Universal Championship steel cage match between Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. The Intercontinental Fatal 4-Way Ladder match between Seth Rollins, The Miz, Finn Balor, and Samoa Joe. The WWE Championship match, which is still to be announced who's going to be in that match. Although it's probably going to be AJ versus somebody that they don't plan on giving the belt to. United States Championship match, again, has yet to be announced who's going to be in it. A men's singles match between John Cena and Triple H. Eh, okay. Raw Tag Team Championship match, The Bar versus either The Revival or Matt Hardy and, or sorry, Woken Matt Hardy and Woken Wyatt. The SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship, uh, uh SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship match between the, bro the Bludgeon Brothers and The Usos. The WWE Cruiserweight Championship, um, is on the line and that's going to be to be announced versus to be announced. I'm guessing it's probably, well, obviously it's going to end up being... Cedric Alexander as he's the champion. Um, it's rumored that's probably going to be Cedric versus Mustafa for a second round, which I... I am opposed to that. That match was awesome. Um, for those of you wondering, I will be doing predictions and a review for this. And finally, a casket match, which was originally planned to be The Undertaker versus Rusev, but Rusev got pulled for the match for some reason and is now Y2J versus is The Undertaker in a casket match. What is being rumored is that uh, basically Lana kind of didn't want him to be in that, you know, and 
So they ended up pulling him from it and putting Y2J in his place. There's, it's also rumored that Rusev is or asked for his release before WrestleMania 34. Um, so the question kind of is, is will we actually see Rusev here? Um, it's said Rusev is planned to take Y2J's spot in the Greatest Royal Rumble as Y2J was one of the 20 people already announced. But as of this time, it's still not been said that he's going to be that he's going to be in that match. Y2J is still slotted as being in that match as well. So the question kind of is, is it, it, will Rusev actually be there or is he going to be released very soon? If he gets released, I really, I really hope that he goes somewhere where he can actually, you know, like be popular. Maybe Ring of Honor or New Japan. I, I think he'd do really well. I just don't want him to go to Impact. Wouldn't work well. Um, but yeah. All right, let's get on to this. Uh, for those of you wondering, by the way, I will be doing a Superstar Shake-Up uh, review uh, for both Raw and SmackDown. Um, it will probably be in the same video, much like I did with the Raw and SmackDown after Mania. Um, because I, uh, that got some really good support, and I, I really liked uh, the impact that had on the channel. Um, I also want to say, I have no plans to stop in the channel with all the shit going on in my personal life. I'm actually putting more work into the channel. Um... We'll be doing Batman The Enemy Within, which is the second season of the Telltale series for Batman. Um, and I have a lot of other things planned for the, going forward in the future. So don't worry, I'm not planning on slowing down the channel. Personal issues aside, I don't plan on stopping anything on the channel at all. Um, for those of you wondering, uh, Batman The Enemy Within will be on Mondays. It will start two weeks after 5.3 goes up, which I believe 4.3 was the one that just went up last Monday. So, yeah, I'll check my scheduling and stuff to make sure I, I know what I'm talking about and, and we'll go from there. But the 20 people who are in the greatest Royal Rumble uh, are Daniel Bryan, the big show, who recently re-signed a contract, which is, is kind of cool. Kane, Braun Strowman, Bray Wyatt, Kurt Angle, Baron Corbin, Big E. Kofi Kingston, which means we'll probably see some some crazy Kofi Kingston bullshit like we always do. Xavier Woods, Chris Jericho, Apollo, Shelton Benjamin, Sin Cara, Elias, Chad Gable, Goldust, Titus O'Neil, Mojo Rawley, and Dolph Ziggler. Those are the 20 men currently announced. Who else do I think we could end up probably seeing in this match? Well, I think we could probably end up seeing Bobby Roode, Randy Orton, potentially Shinsuke Nakamura if he's not in the WWE Championship match. Uh, obviously, Daniel Bryan's probably not going to be in that match because he's in the, the, the greatest Royal Rumble. Um, we'll probably see maybe Seth, potentially Dean, as Dean should be back. Probably Jason Jordan, um, as well as probably about um, 20 or so other mid-carders. And then probably some surprise legend pops up. Uh, it is rumored that Rey Mysterio will be popping up here, which I like that idea. Rey Mysterio coming back, especially in this form, would be awesome. Um, Bobby Lashley will probably end up being in this. I'm hoping Bobby Lashley being back leads to him versus Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam because it'd be awesome. All right. Now, on to Backlash 2018. We have three matches currently confirmed for this. A United States Championship match, Jinder Mahal, <clears throat> the champion, versus Randy Orton. The Intercontinental Championship match was Seth Rollins versus The Miz, which means either A, Miz is winning it back at Grace Royal Rumble, B, Seth Rollins is retaining, or C, Samoa Joe or Finn Balor are winning and it's going to become a triple threat. Hopefully, Seth wins and retains over Miz at Backlash so Miz can go away for a bit to raise his child and hopefully he comes back to a huge uh, pop. I do like The Miz. I, I know I talk a lot of shit about the Miz, but I do like him. He's a he's fantastic in the ring. Um, but yeah. And finally, a singles match between Roman Reigns and Samoa Joe. Um, the question is, will that end up being for the Universal Championship if Roman Reigns is to win it at the Greatest Royal Rumble? Who knows? Um, it will probably it could potentially still just be a singles match. It could potentially end up being for the championship. Um, obviously we'll have to see where it goes after the Greatest Royal Rumble event actually takes place. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to the next month, two months or so of wrestling. Uh, the, the month after WrestleMania is typically one of the coolest and most amazing months in WWE, uh, for the main roster. 
Uh, I hope you guys are prepared for everything that's going to be coming in the next few months of wrestling. Um, I hope you guys are excited, as excited as I am, um, for this. Uh, I also cannot wait. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay golden. Peace.